welcome to another award presentation from Global Banking and Finance. Global Banking and Finance Review is a leading brand name in the world of financing and banking. Their awards were created to recognize companies of all sizes that are prominent in particular areas of expertise and excellence within the global financial community. Today, we're pleased to offer two awards to MEME by Gulf International Bank. Global Communications has enabled banks to become faster and instantly accessible. Part of this digital revolution is MEME, which is the retail banking arm of Gulf International Bank, owned by the governments of six GCC countries. MEME's aim is to simplify the retail banking segment. MEME is the first Sharia compliant to offer digital banking. MEME's smart onboarding application gives a seamless account opening experience. Customers can apply for reissue and block all meme cards online. And customer support is available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week by phone, email and through memes online community channels. Global Banking and Finance is pleased to offer two awards to Meme. Firstly for Best Sharia Compliant Digital Bank KSA 2019 and Most Innovative Digital Bank Initiative Bahrain 2019. Recently, we were glad to welcome to our London studios Andreas Skopel to receive the awards from Global Banking's Jade French. Later, we spoke more about Meme's success story. Well, welcome to London. Thank you so much for coming here to talk to us today. And congratulations on your awards as well. Thank you very much. Uh, we're really happy and uh, excited to, to receive the award. I think it's really testament of all the hard work that our team has been putting into this since uh, before 2015. So really proud and and excited about the award and what's to come. Thank Excellent. You. Well, let's talk more about your organization. First of all, please tell us a little bit more about Meme. So Meme, um, Meme is our retail banking proposition within uh, Gulf International Bank's business. Uh, when we started in 2015 in uh, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, our whole intention was to give our customers the simplest, most personalized um, experience possible. And we created a unique straight through process capability for our customers to uh, research, select and onboard through a mobile first um, uh, application uh, which uh, was the first of its kind in the GCC region so you know very proud of the innovation that we brought to the market in 2015 and then subsequently we rolled out that uh, proposition into Bahrain and extended that across a number of different products and services so just to expand that a bit more how mm. would you say Meme actually stands out from other online organizations well, we are the only organization that can bring the whole set of consumer banking products uh, together through a mobile banking experience. As I said, we were the first bank in the region to offer a full straight through process for our customers to go through eKYC and onboard um, through the application. So uh, that's a really compelling part of our proposition, in addition to the fact that all our products are Sharia compliant and some of the features of those products um, uh, are really unique in terms of what they deliver for our uh, customers. As you mentioned that, yes, you are Sharia compliant. Um, what would you say the advantages were for customers? Well, I think there's some you know, really unique differences uh, from conventional and Sharia compliant products. The, the fact is that all of our asset and liability products are compliant with, uh, with, with Sharia requirements. We have our own Sharia board as well, and the agility to which we can identify and deliver new products uh, in partnership with our board is actually one of the key differences as well. Let's, without being too technical, perhaps yeah. come on to the fact as a, an online digital service, what are some of the technologies that actually power the, the meme platform? Well, I think it's important to look at it from a couple of angles because obviously we have the, the technology to make all of these things possible in terms of the execution. But for us, it's really about how do we work together as an organization to make the most use of the technology. And in our, um, in our point of view, it's really about the agility, the customer centricity, and the speed that that technology allows us to deliver our services to the market. And obviously, we benchmark ourselves against the leading banks and non-banks um, in terms of the type of technology we use. But certainly, we take a customer-centric view around how we use our technology and, and how we deliver that in the market. And everybody, when it comes to anything to do with uh, online services, is always worried about security. How do you actually ensure that you, you have a secure uh, platform for customers? Well, I think for us, the main principle is that we need to think ahead of the curve, right? So obviously, from a regulatory perspective, there are some mandatory things that we need to do from a information security cyber perspective. But because of the nature of our business, that we are a digital-only uh, retail bank, we need to think ahead of the curve. And so. 
uh, without going into too much detail around the sort of capabilities we have, we always have to think about what are the new services coming to the market in 12 to 18 months and how do we make sure that uh, there is complete integrity around our proposition to avoid any issues around you know, cyber breach and, and so forth. So we always have to think ahead of the curve beyond just the regulatory requirements in those markets we're in. So I, just to actually add to that a bit more, you say thinking ahead of the curve, you always mm. have to sort of look at future developments and how that might affect uh, the customers uh, yeah. going forward. Yeah, mm. yeah exactly. So it, from our perspective, we've just gone through a, a pretty robust strategy review for our retail uh, digital banking business. And for us, it's about how do we deliver a much more personalized proposition to our customers? How do we offer things in real time that are relevant and personal to that individual? Um, and how do we bring all that together in a really simple and, and uh, compelling uh, digital proposition where we're allowing our customers to navigate easily through all our services and to access our products, uh, which are very personal uh, and not generic to a whole segment set. All right, let's look at some of the, the products and services you provide, some of the dy dynamic offerings, as it were. Yeah, well, so we ask ourselves all the time, what do our customers love about our products? So uh, it, we get all different types of feedback, and the main ones for us um, is around uh, the instant cashback that we provide our customers with for credit card products. We do some really interesting things around uh, installment plans for certain types of purchases that customers make. Um, and we were the first bank, uh, as I mentioned, to actually allow customers to go through a full digital uh, onboarding process where they didn't have to go to a branch. So um, there's very, very unique features um, that we offer, but also around the onboarding um, experience as well. Would you say that uh, given the area that you're mainly operating in the Middle East, is, is there a definite move towards technologies? I mean, do to, to consumers actually lap up that, that, that te te technology rather than going to a normal bank? Absolutely. I mean, at the heart of it, it technology is around, around enabling a really unique custom experience. And for us, it's about how do we leverage our technology to open up to other types of services that we might not have. So with fintechs or, or other um, entities that can bring some unique services together. So um, the benefit of being a Bahrain, very progressive government uh, and regulator, um, the adoption of open banking is front of mind uh, for, that, uh, for that country. And we're also adopting open banking as a proposition which will allow us to bring all these new services to the market that our customers can then also benefit for. Okay, let's look to the future then. What, what are your, your hopes, fears and your exciting developments yeah. for the years ahead? L lots of things uh, that we're thinking about. For us, it's really about how do we create more breadth in our products and services and more depth around the personalization and the unique experience we can give to our customers. Obviously, um, to do that, we need a lot of different pieces to come together, uh, both from a technology a way of working within the organization and our partners that can bring those new services to the market with us. So very excited about what's to come and uh, how our customers can benefit from our proposition. Well, obviously a lot going on. I look forward to perhaps talking to you more about that in the times ahead. In the meantime, thank you so much for coming to London and congratulations on the awards as well. Thank you.